For any combine to bring in a high yielding crop, it first needs to get the crop off the ground and into the header. Unfortunately, some crops go down at harvest time for a variety of reasons, making it necessary to use lifters. Back in 2004, Dave Dietrich of Assiniboia, Saskatchewan, wasn't happy with the lifters that were available for his combine. So he designed his own version and started a company called Flexifinger, along with product support specialist Ron Wheeler. When you're sitting in the combine and you've spent all that money to get that crop and you're driving down the, down the field cutting and you're, looking, and you're looking behind you and you're seeing pods and you're seeing uh, cereal grain or uh, beans, whatever your combine laying back behind you when you know that in, a, in 10 minutes you can throw on a set of our lifters and pull them up out of there. Wheeler figures in 10 minutes you can put in a set of flexi finger lifters on a 35 foot cutter bar of a swather or combine after the initial installation of their specially designed QD nuts on the header. We have a QD nut that is replaces a guard bolt or uh, uh, along your cutting bar and that can stay right on there and uh, basically all we have is a, is, a, is a spring QD attachment that fits right into the slot on the, on the nut and uh, you can just snap them off and on just with ease. Presently they're working on a new series of lifters called the Flexi Float. It's meant for all different crops and has a variety of handy adjustments. And we have an infinite number of uh, ways we can configure this uh, uh, lifter in the field. We have different shoes available for it. We have, uh, uh, can adjust the travel of the lifter for the travel of the, of the, on the float. We can adjust the spring in here so that we can make the tension different on the float. We can uh, remove and go without the tail. We can go with a different style of tail, uh, shorter, longer, whatever the situation requires. And yet the beauty of it is they're still just quick off and on. Wheeler told us the ability to change to different shoes or feet on these lifters allows farmers to quickly adjust to changing field conditions. This, this one is developed for it's a, a foot on it so that in a drier, sandier condition. And this one here we're, is under development. It would uh, help us out in, uh, in cross-cutting on, uh, say, a downed uh, cereal crop or, or um, le- uh, pulse crop where you're cross-cutting over the, over the humps and down through dips and, and sprayer runs or irrigation tracks. Um, and that just gives us a more option. And then this is just another, a different style of shoe that's a little bit shorter for a, and get you into a little bit closer cut to the header and a little bit more tip on it. The heavy duty lifter series is designed to be gentle on a variety of different crops and is quite popular with farmers. This one is, is more for down cereal crops and, and those twisted up canola crops and then we have one without the pad which is kind of a all-purpose lifter it will work in all situations uh, um, and then we develop then this the mid cut here and it was basically it would be just for a cereal grain application and it gives you a real nice job in that hailed grain where the crop has had a hailstorm go through or if you have a situation with uh, cutworm and uh, sawfly where you got half stalks hanging ha- half down we can get in underneath there and pick them up instead of cutting the, the head off and it dropping to the ground before it gets into the cutting bar or the header. Flexifinger also makes lifting pans which attach to the back of their lifters. They help reduce shattering losses while straight cutting crops such as beans, peas and also canola with pod sealer applied to it. It comes in and it lifts the plant and expands and, and, and uh, brings the plant up and as the plant expands and, and uh, the volumizes itself and increases like this, the pods tend to, to shatter inside so that they drop into the pan and we and then with the forward motion of the material and the, and the actual operation of the knife it works its way up this ladder in the pan and then at the end of the row when we uh, when we lift at our headland the pan it delivers it into the auger the the shattered pods and, and seeds that it's captured flexi finger crop lifters are designed to be compatible with any combine or swather Recommended spacing can range from 4 to 24 inches, depending on the situation. At the time of our visit, prices range from $55 to $75 per lifter.